hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this google animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you're gonna like this video then don't forget to hit that like button also so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. And width I'm going to choose 1920, height 180, frame rate is 30, and duration we don't need much more duration. So I'm going to choose 10 seconds long only, and background color is white color, and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and hit on Title Save option. Now I'm going to select my Ellipse tool and in this animation we need to use only ellipse tool we don't need to use any shape or pen tool etc etc and this time i'm going to choose shape and i'm going to choose uh, this color over here and hit ok and stroke width i'm going to choose 20 pixels for now and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse like this okay then select this shape layer, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and let's scale this thing somewhere around like this. And let's try to increase the stroke width somewhere around like this. I think this much looks good. So let's make it proper 60. Yep. Now after that we will go to the Add menu and we will choose Trim Path. Let's go to the Trim Path and let's make this 50 ok and offset i'm going to choose 45 or let's say 90 so this looks good to me and as you guys can see you can adjust this stroke width over here so let's make this 50 again like this and over here i'm going to change the color of this to orange now select the shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it go inside this contained ellipse and trim path go to the trim path and let's make this 40 and let's change the color of this one to a little bit a darker version like this okay and let's choose a little bit more darker version like this okay so let's make this 45 over here okay and hit you and let's go over here and we will choose the red color for this one now we will select our ellipse and i don't want any stroke for now and over here fill i'm going to choose we go with the greenish color over here and choose a little bit somewhere around like this and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse now select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically first press v for selection tool and by holding shift i'm going to move this ellipse over here like this now right click new and create one null object and make sure this null object is properly at the center now select this shape layer and let's move this over here like this hit u let's go to around let's say 10 frames select this null object press r for rotation and let's create one keyframe over here go to around one second and let's rotate it up to let's say minus 180 like this okay so if you see we will get something like this now select those keyframe and hit f9 so if you see we will get something like this now uh, as you guys can see this animation looks very slow so let's move this to 20 frames like this now let's select this shape layer press p for position let's create one keyframe over here let's go over here and create another keyframe go to the start and we will bring this totally up to here now press Ctrl R to create this ruler and we will bring this ruler over here. Now select those keyframe and hit F9. Let's go to the graph editor. We will select this graph by holding shift, move this handle over here and this handle over here. Like this. Okay. Now at this point, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create one keyframe over here and let's go to the one second and let's move this thing totally up to here like this and then go to the 10 frames and we will select this keyframe and we will hit ctrl c ctrl v select all the keyframes and hit f9 okay let's go to the graph editor now 
now what i'm going to do over here i'm going to select this handle hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here select this this handle over here select this and move this handle over here like this okay so we will get this kind of pop-up now i'm going to select this null object i'll select those keyframe and by holding control i'm going to click on it so it will remove this uh, ease and ease out because we don't need that over here so if i see i'll get something like this now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select those keyframe i'll hit ctrl c go over here and hit ctrl v right click keyframe assistance and time reverse layers like this now at this point again i'll create one keyframe and i'll go to two second and i'll select this first keyframe i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v and select those keyframe and hit f9 let's go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this and hit n over here so if you say this we will get this kind of animation okay now after that we have this red thing over here so let's go to this point and let's go to the contents ellipse one trim path and let's create one keyframe at the end property over here go over here and let's make this totally up to here go few frame forward let's create one keyframe again go over here and let's make this 45 again okay like this as you guys can see we will get this kind of animation over here now after that i am going to select this shape layer in this null object and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as ellipse and make sure that all of them are in move or attributes into the new composition and simply hit ok like this select all of them and enable this motion blur like this go inside this ellipse also also enable this motion blur so we'll get something like this now select this ellipse go to the effect and presets panel and apply eco effect on it so as you guys can see we will get this kind of duplicates go to the add menu and choose maximum and over here eco time what i'm gonna do i'm simply gonna remove this one three from here and i'll add zero over here and hit ok and now all we need to do we need to increase this equals to 20 let's say for now so if i see this thing now i'll get this kind of stuff it will take a little bit time to load this So after all this loading, our animation will look something like this. Okay. Now right click new and create one null object. Now select all of them and make it apparent with this null one. Now whenever this ball is gonna touch this ground, I want this should go a little bit downwards. So let's press P for position, create one keyframe. Let's go somewhere around over here and again create another keyframe. And in the middle of that, I'll bring this null object a little bit downward like this. Select those keyframe and hit F9. Like this. Now at this point again, I'll select those keyframe. I'll hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So if you see this thing now, we will get this kind of animation. Press Ctrl Y and let's make a white background. And I'll bring this downwards like yeah so this is how you can create this kind of google type of animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned